Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. I think we've got off Mansfield's carpet here. But, <laughs> basically, we have a huge firmware update for the Flysky Noble Pro. So, I've been running this now for about a month. I've not found any issues with it so far. Obviously, once you see this update, you'll realise just how big it is. And both myself and Flysky have been trying as best to try and check out every little functionality and that. But if anything does pop up, let me know and I can feed it back to Flysky. Now it's released, it should be pretty solid, but with everything, these things are so complex, you might find something that doesn't work as it should. Um, but let's bring in for a close-up look. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what's changed. I will be doing a whole series of videos on each and every setting and how we configure things. So let's bring in for a close-up look and take you through new version 3 of the Noble Pro firmware. Right, so first thing you'll see is it looks very different. So basically we've got a steering and we've got a throttle. You've got your trims, you've got everything you can set down here, but you've now got all the sensors reading at the top. We've got a huge list of what we can actually uh, show. So we've got altitude and GPS and a whole bunch of different sensors for current and voltage. So these will all be coming in future. But basically, we've got backdrops that we can change. We've got themes we can change. We've got different icons all laid out. So you've got a setting where you can have it. So it's set up for an Xbox. So it will connect to the consoles as a steering wheel now. We've got a display where we can have a servos laid out. We've got boat mode still. We've got another setting for fuel. So this you can have a little fuel icon at top of screen that goes down. You can work out your highest and lowest um, fuel usage basically. So once you know these, and this is cc's per minute. So based on what your throttle is and your size of your tank. And then that will work out how quick your fuel goes down. So this is going to be nice for the nitro guys. Well, I suppose you could also use it on the two-stroke petrols as well. Uh, we have Logic, which is where you can set multiple switches. So you can have different switches to relate to other switches and then have a different outcome. So I can see how that could be quite useful for... Uh, if you want to set up certain mixers or certain scenarios where you hit two buttons and then it does something else. We have conditions. So you can set a separate sort of condition up for dual rates or curves or ABS. And then you can assign it to a switch. So it'll turn it straight on and it'll put it into a set condition for you. So if you're racing outdoors and then it gets wet, you can press your condition and it'll change your dual rates, your curve or your ABS settings or anything to basically um, give you sort of a dual map if you like. Uh, to do cruise settings we've got, engine cut, uh, idle up, as neutral position, then throttle mid position, so we've still got all these. ABS, we've got a whole bunch of settings on them, as mixers, got quite a few different mixers that you can run through and they're all configurable then you've got I believe eight mixers that you can set yourself uh, servo speed we've still got as settings what we can do in here so you can go up to three different ones Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So we've got a servo reverse, as endpoint setting screen, as sub trims, we've got all as dual rates, we've got our curves that we can now set up, 
and I believe on these you can go through and have them as an arc you can have different points and you can also have loads of different steps on your curve and you can set each and every one of these steps to be uh, however you want uh, steering we've got a whole bunch of settings on these as well there's a hell of a lot to go through with this uh, do, 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 do. then we've got as timers all your button assignments and you can flick it into that menu if you prefer see your different key assignments your auxiliary channels where we set them up then in the model we got all the way up to 18 channels your radio frequency setups you can customize the menu so you can have whatever options are relevant to the actual model that you're using then if we make it down to sensors we can actually record data so we can have data recording on the sensors now and you can have three minutes or 60 minutes then you've got different things that you can set to be recorded so we've got a hell of a lot in here and you notice how we've got sort of um, HD and HW after these are I believe Power HD and Hobby Wing so it will be integrating with their kit so you can actually get feedback over iBus 2 from their devices I'm not sure who M MKS is I know these are all coming off of the GPS one because they do do a GPS telemetry uh, device for it now but yeah we can set all that and you can have telemetry being recorded speed and distance setup that's for your rollout and everything um, then we need al altitude sensor on for that we need GPS sensor on for that and you need the uh, voltage and current current will be an interesting one certainly uh, for the drag racing guys to be able to see uh, the current in real time current draw but we have a whole bunch of settings on them and then if we go into our system we've got themes so you can change the actual theme of it you've got a whole bunch of different wallpaper that you can choose and you can do the same for your main menu units we can set uh, backlight adjustments you've got auto receiver search so basically if you turn this on it'll jump through and it'll go through all the model memories and whatever car's turned on the first one it finds it'll lock to that one for you and rx menu this is where we've got all those ibus set up and everything but yeah it's uh it's quite a change from the standard firmware and it does i really wish the pro had been released with this firmware because it does now show just how different the pro's hardware is to the mb4 but uh, that's just a very quick overview of this uh, firmware so as soon as the actual firmware is released i'll be doing the update video because i've recorded this before it's actually available um so hopefully we can get the uh, update process video done and then I'll take you through each and every one of these settings as I did on the MB4 because um, now it's actually worth doing it. It's actually different on the Pro. But uh, yeah, let's wrap this one up. So there you have it. A very, very different experience now on the Flysky Noble Pro. Um, as I said, I've been using this for probably just over a month now and i've not found any issues with it um and i've been racing with it 
Now, yes, there is a whole bunch of different features this thing does. Some of the sensors I haven't got yet, so I can't check that functionality. And some of the options I just haven't been able to go through and uh, and check it all out. Like all the various different mixers and everything. And the logic is quite interesting. Some of the stuff you can do with that. I can definitely see how you could basically use a you could use the logic to set a fail safe so you have to press an older button to activate your winch which i know quite a few guys with the crawlers and that have been trying to sort of work that out on other controllers um a whole bunch of settings for loads of different types of rc but it's going to be a lot of videos and uh, it should be a hell of a lot of fun and I'm sure you guys will give me a whole load of weird scenarios that you need me to try and make up some kind of weird settings for, which I really enjoy doing. Um, but thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, share to friends and family and uh, catch you guys again in the next one.